Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Let's Play of U4 with Red Bastard. And where we last left our nation, we had just eaten up on some of these natives in here in the New World. Okay, yeah, so Portugal got their claim here. I'm surprised there. Oh, this is claimed by Portugal. So that will slow down our growth. Uh, let's see if we can get Vinland. As a subject. Why? No good reason. We just want to do it, because they're Vinland. Very nice sniped off one of our colonial regions. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And we're just going to get the 100. They'll become loyal again soon enough. Nice, Free General. So it shouldn't take much more to make them like us enough to agree to become our protectorate. Two things just happened there. Uh, we could pull a little bit of land from them, though. Like we'd given them something like this. That'd still leave them at 80.8. Let's drop them down to 77. Is there something else we could take from them? 80.2. Yeah, this is the one. Well, let's see, we might have the cash on hand to upgrade these ships. Okay, 25 ducats. I can appreciate that. And let's just get some trips across. Do a little bit of overkill. We're not using a general, so that's probably a good idea. And they should be ready now. Not quite yet. Pop off those relations. They've degraded just a little bit. And let's send a gift to him. Um, no, I don't think that's worth it. Oh. Must be within trading range. Okay, well, enjoy all of those nice gifts we just gave you, Vinland. So now they're taking up one of our Diplo slots. That's no good. That certainly didn't work out according to plan. We're just trying to protect our 
Norse friends, and this is what happens. Okay, so we did get the new rival. Let's go ahead and embargo them. Who's our other rival? Austria, Russia. Austria already hates us. Let's go ahead and send them an insult for a little bit more power projection. Two hundred. Let's get twelve. I want a round number there. Austria is finally trying to take down Tyrol. So I think the appropriate move here Let's see who all are they fighting? Austria and Venice. Yeah, the appropriate move is to make sure that we have Holland marked as being of vital interest to us, we do. Get this nice general. And enforce peace. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Let's give them military access. Okay, we captured two of their ships. And let's get these guys repairing. As I can see, those other ships. Okay, let's go around to there. Okay, I'm liking this. We can make this work. Go ahead and upgrade those ships. Okay, we captured Zealand. Let's go to Breda. And I can see the Austrians running around, but that's not going to do them too much good. We should be able to capture this relatively quickly. Finland, you broke our heart. And let's top off relations here with our subjects. I'm curious if either of them have any debt. Yep. Wait, they both have debt, don't they? they have too much debt. Yes, we'll save up some cash to help them out. It improves our relations. Okay, follow the map to El Dorado. Yeah, I mean, I want the, the 50 admin, but... Should we scorch the earth here? I'm thinking we should. I'm thinking that we should go over there and try to eject them. They have a lot of cannons.
But we do have six shock. Let's send this army as well, just in case. I know Bredo will go back to the enemy's control. We can always snatch that back up and renew that siege. Come on, get there before it surrenders. And let's sort out the garrison, giving us a little bit of boost to morale. Uh, scorch Earth here so that that doesn't happen again. And we'll get rid of that Merc. And I'm guessing that France is going to attack Austria while this is ongoing. I know I would. Just go around it, we're in a rush. Nice, killed some of their cannons. And they have to run back over there and start a new siege, but we've scorched the earth, so these both get uh, well they cause more attrition, but they also get that local defensiveness plus twenty five percent. And that could come in handy. We found gold. Yes. Nice, we're going to get these transports upgraded. These guys should all be up to date. And I still want to get some more. Many factories. Now the Emperor might demand this province back, in which case we will um, tell him no. Yeah, let's march on in. Let's get that morale boost. Probably don't need it, but it doesn't hurt to try. Okay, let's march in with both these armies. We're going to arrive there before the end of the month, so I'm going to shift consolidate to ensure that they're as effective as possible. And hopefully we stack with them. We did. They just lost a lot of cannons. 11k cannons. Okay, that's under siege. Their capital's fallen. Yeah, it's it's a bloodbath. Venice is getting beat up. The only thing saving them is their navy. So let's go around here and give their navy a talking to. One second. Sorry, when to clear my throat there. Could hear vocal quality degrading. Um, we're going to move this army up and leave this one down here. And I'm not entirely happy about having these fleets split up. So let's stop them and merge them. And yes, defensive drill.
I don't like our ships getting beat up on here, but we could always pull into port. Since Sevilla, our ally controls us. Ooh. Lost the big ship. Okay, let's let's pull into port. Oh, is that a different war? That is a different war. Okay, where can we retreat? They lost two big ships, we lost one. Lost a second. Wow, that's pretty fast. That guy's still marching around. And both those colonies are nearing completion. I thought Savoy was in that same war, so we could just go into port. Yeah, their navy is suffering now. If we engage them now, I think we would win. But we certainly have to repair first. Spain, you broke our hearts. We wanted to use you against France. And we've got 91 war score, so it's just a matter of time. I'm going to save these points. Because we'll probably want to core that right away. And let's see if there's any other war we can get ourselves dragged into. Let's go for the monarch points. Ninety-four war score. Yeah, it's it's over. Wow. Um, our ruler is pretty good. I think that's super necessary. So let's just go for the monarch points. Okay, let's bring down their influence. And they'll lose loyalty, but what can we do? Jerks. Betrayed us. Trade us at the peace table. And now we're going to dissolve this alliance. Actually, should have cashed in those favors first. Um, but it doesn't matter. I mean, granted, we were going to cancel that alliance anyway. That's just rude. OK, 
couldn't give us the one province after we gave them their independence. They decided to force them to release Brabant instead. What jerks. Okay, we can have another, another colonist. Um, so let's work on... This is really good development. Actually, we want to do it north of there, though. Okay, that's a river estuary, so we'll start working on that. Wherever it is. Here. Because we want to get the extra merchant for having these guys be 10 provinces. Mercantilism is right, definitely. And let's take a look there. Yeah, we're competitive with Lubeck, but not with Genoa. Eight more years. So let's go ahead and just build some more trade buildings to ensure that global trade will spread via these trade buildings a little more quickly than it otherwise would. This guy's still doing the quest, and we're running out of places for him to search. There's a bit down here. And of course we could drop him off on this island. Nice. Okay, so these are two regions. France will probably beat us to this one, unless we get over there quickly. But they'll still probably beat us. Let's take the military points. Uh, three years ahead of time. Yeah, let's go for this. I think they reformed, so they weren't going to be moving after that. Rival, rival, no guy. Let's work on that. like the fact that Tyrol beat up on Austria, so I'm happy that we did get involved in that conflict. Those dancing guys. Come on, you can take them. We'll march down there once this fort falls, but it's 42% and we already have the walls broken, so... It would be counterproductive to leave the siege. And hopefully these guys saved up some cash for us. Or 
164. Expected better of you. Shame. Poor shame. Okay, one thing that I need to remember is that our subjects are both in debt. And if we get them out of debt, that will likely make them colonize more. It is certainly in our interests. And we can increase this trust. That's up to 100. 85. 85. Up to 90. We'll be able to call them into another war in two years. And I'm wondering what their income is. We might be able to influence... them for additional trust. And let's check. Still haven't overtaken them in Lubeck, but it's only a matter of time. If we could get our burgers loyal, that would certainly help. Oh, thank you, Sivoy. Okay, no reason to pay our trips full wages. Let's drop those in half. Yeah, I definitely don't want to increase the autonomy here. So could we get an administrative? Yeah, let's do that. Because the administrative monarchy lowers the autonomy gives us taxes, gives us production efficiency. So we'll end up making more money, uh, more money that way. Okay, we have overtaken Lubeck, but you know, in six years, yeah, nearly doubling the value of our trade node is probably not going to happen. Let's wait till the first of the year. Wow, well, Portugal, shame on you. Or we could just develop a little bit. That might be a good idea. Okay, influence nation, cost is 149, let's do it. It'll pay off in the long run. Increasing that trust is, is a big deal. Okay, no guy. Um, yeah, why don't we improve relations, get them back up to 90, and then we'll just temporarily proclaim guarantee over them for a month. Okay, we're already working on this one, so we might as well do that. And let's revoke that guarantee. Okay. 
Now any points that we have here we could just use to develop Right, so we didn't get that one with all the new world stuff that we have. Okay, let's take a look at what the situation is. Wow, um, Bengal. I'm wondering if we could just privateer enough here to make them fail. That would be a lot of privateering. Okay, do we want to do this or get the prestige? No, this seems fine. Lazy Diplomat, let's try to be competitive here, though it's not really going to work. And get some more mercantilism. Okay. 20 years of increased seller growth, I like that. Uh, we're f so far ahead of time that I'm going to go ahead and get the tariffs. That's what paying off their debt is allowing us to do. They'll still be loyal to us. And this guy's... We'll wait till the first of the year. We'll pull him back and we'll increase the trust with our other colonial subject. Only cost us 15 ducats, that's so worth it. Okay, let's increase this. I'll just keep working on our trade node. Again, if we could get our burgers to be loyal, that would definitely help us out because we're minus 10% trade efficiency. But I think that's just the money that we make off of trade, not actually anything else. Um, let's do this. They'll become loyal again. And let's top off relations with the papacy. Oh no. Okay, we have to do that. And what are we going to name this guy? See, we're 34 minutes in, so I'll just name him and then end this video. He's good enough that he deserves to be named after one of our subscribers. This guy would be Daniel. Four, four, three. Good on you, Daniel. Hey, anyway, I'm going to save this here. And stop and take a break. Thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of E4 with Red Bastard.